While this video focuses on Mary Perry Stone's San Francisco artwork completed in the 1950s, it's also a look at why abstract art was the most promoted American art during those times. In 1953, my mother, married with a small child, moved to San Francisco from New York City. Her artwork for years had reflected her interest in people and social issues. In San Francisco, we first lived in one room on Howard Street, a skid row area of the city. There my mother's work was of the homeless, the unemployed, the workers, and the people of the streets. In this watercolor of a homeless person lying on the sidewalk, there's the backdrop of a sign, Money to Loan. We then moved to a small apartment on Grant Avenue in Chinatown. I remember my mother drawing and watercoloring the children and their mothers in Chinatown and Washington Square Park. She delighted me, too, with illustrations of Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. When my mother sketched this drawing, we were living on Mason Street in the North Beach area of the city. In this roomier apartment, Mary resumed working in sculpture, which she had done since the late 1920s. She continued to sketch and paint in nearby Washington Square Park. In 1955, Mary painted images of the Klan and the fractured face of the murdered teen Emmett Till. By having an open casket viewing, his mother exposed both the brutality of his murder and the racial hatred in the South. Even though Mary was doing the art she wanted to do, she was constantly aware of the Cold War and its effect on American culture and art. The Cold War started right after World War II. When my mother moved west in 1953, it was the year the Korean War ended. Ethel and Julius Rosenberg were executed for conspiring to sell atomic secrets to the Russians. In Arthur Miller's play, The Crucible, an allegory about McCarthyism, opened on Broadway. The anti-communist atmosphere also influenced why abstract art was favored for exhibits by museums across the country. As an example, in 1953, eight of the 12 American artists of a CIA-sponsored Museum of Modern Art exhibit, which opened in Paris, were abstract or abstract expressionist. The lone social protest artist, the popular Ben Shawn, was investigated the same year for his political beliefs. What concerned my mother about abstract work was not the work itself, for she admired beautiful color and design, but rather with the Cold War, it was the safe choice for both the artist and buyer, for it didn't express anything politically. Or to paraphrase the realist painter, Henri Scherer, wealthy patrons could feel they were being new and revolutionary by buying works which showed nothing about the human condition. No matter what was current in the art world, Mary Perry Stone believed it was important for an artist to find their own honest expression. <laughs>